there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. Now for the electrolyte imbalances. First up, we have potassium, 3.5 to 5.0. Once again, the function of potassium, it is priority since it pumps the heart and muscles. So for hyper, think high. Hyperkalemia is over 5.0. And the manifestations to know for your exams is in the heart. We have high pumps. So the number one thing is peak T waves with ST elevation. Number two, with severe hyperkalemia, we see V-fib or ventricular fibrillation and cardiac arrest, as well as number three, hypotension and bradycardia, as the heart cramps up from overpumping. Now, in the neuromuscular or musculoskeletal, we see increased DTRs, those deep tendon reflexes, as well as number two, paralysis and paresthesia that numbness and tingling in the extremities. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.